Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 10 of Let's Play Golden Sun, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, let's check out some stuff around Kolima before we leave. I mean, there's not much to uh, say to the people here because, well, they don't say much. Just mostly about their strife, being a tree and all. Oh, I get an apple. Boost attack. I'll give it to Isaac. Because it's cool like that. Uh, let's talk to you. I used to carve weapons out of wood. Now I am wood. Life's funny like that. <laughs> that is ironic. Man, I'm stuck inside. That means I can't even become a tall tree. Aw, isn't that sad? You don't mind being a tree, but you just hate being a short one. How selfish of you. I dreamt that a mighty warrior with a thick beard ended this curse. I dream about him a lot, actually. This actually could be a woman. What are they staring at? They seem awfully young. They don't stand a chance against Tret. We'll see about that. You're gonna eat your own words or your own roots, whatever. Maybe we turn into trees because of all the trees we cut down. We were only doing our jobs, though. Yep, sometimes doing your jobs at the expense of natural resources can come back to haunt you. The Holy Tree of Coloma has great f powers, just like Father said. At least my father wasn't the one who tried to cut down the Holy Tree. Yep, yeah, well, it doesn't matter now, does it? One must study trees and train one's body well before logging. And know exactly what forest to cut down, because obviously you just went for the wrong one. Uh, is there anything in the item shop? Well, I can't really shop, because, well, they're not going to take my money. They can't even hand me the goods. I don't want to be stuck as a tree forever. Huh? Unless I do anything about it, you got no choice, woman. Or man. Or thing. Hell, you could be a man woman for all I care. Let's check out the inn. Not that I'll be able to rest there. Ooh, lucky metal. If only I left town a day earlier. This room was so comfy. Yep, nothing says comfort like a round room. The villagers were right. I never should have tried to cut that tree down. Now I'll never see my family in a meal again. Eh, they're probably with God now. Oh, oh wait. Um, actually, I think before I head over to Colima Forest, which is actually north of here, why don't I make a little detour in Bilibin now that I got some more money? I could use some better equipment thinks that would be a good idea. Actually, before I go to Bilibin, why don't I make a little detour at a cave I'm supposed to go to later? You're gonna find out why in a moment. But first, let me take care of business here. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, Mars attack gene. Or genie. Because I've ahead, I could have got more experience from the rat. Oh well. Oh yeah, because I gained some levels, Garrett learned a new ability called Volcano. It targets only one enemy, which ain't too bad. And Ivan at level 8 also learned Plasma, which attacks three enemies but has more power. Pretty cool, huh? Rats always defend. Anyways, as you can see, there's plenty of snow around the Emil area. Um, wait. Maybe I should just use Flare Wall. And use Ray Focus on the zombies only. There we go. Alright, Isaac, you know what to do. I'll set the rest to defend. Okay, now I'll just set you back. I believe the Bilibin Cave is right over there. Yep, it is. 
And another interruption. That's just great. Nice. Another herb. Okay, technically we're not even supposed to be here yet. But seeing as how I got an extra Venus gene, here's what or gin, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give this over to Garrett. I mean he goes down to Brute, but he actually learns other synergy by having a Venus and a Mars gin together. So why don't we test it out? He actually learns the ability growth. Now it's also an attack genie, but it can also grow vines. So we can actually go to an alternate entrance. Actually, this is the wrong area. There's actually another spot later on. I think. Hmm, there was supposed to be an alternate path. Oops, so now I'm facing some enemies I'm not supposed to yet. That's gonna be great. I might as well just give it everything I got. Since I got blast now. Huh, <laughs> gnomes. Ooh, 17 damage. But they're down. Maybe I'm supposed to like wait till I get over there. You know what? Frigate. You actually get a new weapon. Or maybe I was supposed to go this way. Or not. But anyways, we'll be coming back here later because you get like a new weapon called some kind of elven rapier. It's a pretty cool weapon. But kind of thing of it, we don't really need it. It's just a little something extra. So I apologize for that little detour. But anyways, we should go to Bilbin to buy some more equipment. So it wasn't all that fruitless after all. Ah, damn. Here, get rid of the bat. And no effect. There. <laughs> An oil drop. I'm not even going to be using it. Let's just sell it. Alright, let's head over to the armor weapon shop. Or, well, just weapon, but you can sell armor too. Okay, it's armor that I need, so why don't we get rid of that oil drop now? Um, nope. Oh wait, I can actually sell those turtle boots, because I'm not going to use them. Like, it's rare stuff. I mean, it goes under artifacts now. And the good thing is, you can actually buy them back. They're a little bit more expensive than when you sold them, but it doesn't matter. So if you sell, like, rare armor that has a special ability, you don't lose it for good. So you have nothing to worry about. I'll give this to Ivan. Yep, give all the game tickets to Isaac. And I'll give you the bronze shield. Oh, who ever thought that my old stuff sucks so bad? Apparently it does. Uh, I think wooden cap would be good to get too. Good, I can actually get another one. One for Garrett. I think that's going to be good for now. I mean, once I get to Coloma, I should be able to buy some more stuff. After I'm through with the forest. Because we could be there for a while. Unfortunately. But I mean, it can't be helped. I mean, we gotta be strong, right? And we gotta be rich, too. Seriously, you need a lot of money to get through this game. 
Oops, forgot to set you back. Okay, that's better. Okay, just in case I forget... Actually, I should trade you back. No, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. That's the wrong one. That's better. Okay, now we're in Kolama Forest. And it can be very tricky. I mean, you gotta deal with pushing logs and stuff. Most of it can be quite a puzzle. Uh, should I push this? Yeah, I should. I mean, this stuff ain't too bad, just wait till later. It's going to really hit the fan. And I'm not kidding either. You're gonna see plenty of puzzles. There we go. I always gotta make sure you get a good boost of experience and money. I'll just ignore this and go around it. Hmm, something tells me I should go down. Uh, fire. Damn it. There we go. Right down. Okay, now I gotta try pushing that log. Push this one down. So I can push this one up. Actually, I don't think I need to push this one at all. I can just go straight on ahead. Now I just gotta take on some more drone bees. And that should do it. Yeah, I know, this is a boring, boring way to fight enemies, but believe me, once you gain levels, of course, it's worth it. I mean, you don't want to pass up a chance for extra experience. You just gotta be smart. And speaking of smarts, you're gonna need all your brains to handle these kinds of puzzles. Okay, so let me try pushing this one. I can go around all this. Push this down. Push this right. Okay, now I need to push that log over to the left so I can cross that river. So let me get you out of the way so I can clear a path for the log over here. I think when it comes to the log puzzles, you don't have any enemy encounters. Otherwise, you get slowed down a total lot. Oh, never mind. Hmm, what should I use against you? What's your weakness? Let me try one of each. Okay, so it's fire, therefore I will not be able to get any XP boost. Remember, I don't have a Mars Offensive Jin. So with that said, let's continue. Okay, now this is where it gets really complicated. I mean, you not only gotta push logs to create a path, you also gotta drain the lake, push the logs, go back to the mechanism, put the lake back up, go on the logs, and get to the exit. However, in this area, there are two paths, one of which leads to treasure, and I would like to get that. So let's go with this all set up first. Now, what should be next? 
gonna try pushing this to the right. And this up. Oh, yeah. I oh, wait, I can't push this one up. So technically, it's locked here. Uh, hopefully, I did not screw this up. Wait, not necessarily. Technically, I can still reach it. So let me push this down. And let's see. I don't know if this is going to work. So technically, I might need this one. Hmm. Yeah, I think I got to push this one left first. And then push this one down. I think this could work. I believe this will work. Let's give it a try. Do not touch floodgate switch. Fuck you, I'm touching it anyway. All right now the logs should stay afloat, and now we can use them to get across. Just make sure they're lined up the right way. And what's in here? Ooh, a fur coat. Good thing PETA's not seeing this. Even if they are, I don't give a shit. I'll give it to Ivan, because his stuff sucks. Okay, and I think I should leave and reset the puzzle. So let me bring the switch back again. And now we should look for the exit. Now, to get to the exit... That's all! Yep, that's how you get to the exit. You just push that log over to the left. I'm not kidding. That's all you need to do. Apparently, they want to make the fur coat more difficult to get because it's a good piece of armor that resists water. If you're going to be hit by any water attacks at all, and we haven't yet. You probably will soon. But really, all you have to do is just do this. Oh, wait, there's actually one other step. Involves this log over here, and can I even reach that? Wait, what am I thinking? Duh! You're not supposed to go from the left. You're supposed to go up here. That log was just a shortcut. Ah, this must be Laurel. Who are you? Oh, you are the ones who resisted Tread's glamour. I sense a great warmth within you. If you came to rescue Tret, you are already too late. Soon Tret will die, and we shall wither away without him. Leave now, before this forest is destroyed. Uh, no. The healing waters of Mercury Lighthouse might save Tret, but the fountain's waters have long since dried up. Uh-oh. Spaghettios. Ah, stupid trolls. They always get stronger after every turn. Well, only by HP wise. I'm guessing Tret's up here. Up oh, there he is again. Boom! He will not speak to you, child. I control all in Tret's realm. What? Okay, so apparently it's the same thing with Mind Read. Okay, so officially I have to go inside Tret, you know, to remove the curse. Oh, <laughs> take a treat. And yeah, I'll do that in the next part, okay? Thanks for watching.